Right, today we are at the Amex Stadium playing Brighton. I'm so happy that Brighton is doing well. What a fantastic team. Deserbi is probably one of the top three candidates for manager of the season, along with, you know, Pep Guardiola, Mikel Arteta, Eddie Howe. You know, he is, he's definitely up there. He's one of the best managers in Europe right now. And Brighton, for some reason, just keep finding these talented players. Ensisa, Buenanote, Mitomo. They're so incredible at finding talent, and I love Brighton so much. Uh, look at the starting lineup. Ortega is playing. Rico Lewis is playing. We literally only have one center back. Actually, no, John Stones is a defensive midfielder now. So we have zero center backs playing today. Rodri is playing out of position as a center back. This is, that's pretty cool. No Julian Alvarez, no Jack Grealish. So this is slightly tainted as a first 11. But regardless, it should be enough to beat Brighton. But honestly, we don't have a lot to play. I honestly think Man City, I honestly think that the, the Man City players are pretty much hung over from their uh, celebrations from Sunday. So honestly... I'm thinking like a 3-3 draw. I'm thinking of a crazy-ass game. I'm not even kidding. We don't have really anything too much to play for just for mentality, just for sharpness-wise. Brighton have a whole lot to play for. I think they could qualify for uh, the Champions League if, they're win if they win this game and their next game and Liverpool loses. So I'm going for a 3-3 draw. Great stuff by, oh, great pass by Mares. Holland, Holland, Holland. Gives it to Foden, Foden. Right foot. <laughs> he was definitely onside. He was definitely onside. I saw that from here. He was definitely onside. Completely unselfish from Erling Holland. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. He missed some golden opportunities, but I'm glad he's made up for it. Fine. This has been a, a very good performance from a, a Brighton team that are not at full strength. Can they get back at level terms? And see so. The first time he's ever scored at the Amex, of course it's a goal like that. Of course it's against us. <laughs> what the fuck? That is probably the Premier League goal of the season. It's done. It's finished. Halftime, and I think my 3-3 prediction might actually come true because I said this was going to be a crazy game. It's an unbelievably crazy game. It's so incredibly open. Foden had a nice header uh, from across from De Bruyne. I just skinned the post. Danny Welbeck. Uh, hit the post from a free kick. I mean, Erling Holland should have buried an easy ass one on one chance. I could have scored that, and uh, probably not. But uh, and then Matomo scored a uh, goal with his hand. <laughs> Any Brighton fans that are watching this, you deserve to be winning like four two. Okay, I, I, we definitely should score like two. You deserve to be winning four three. My prediction is just going exactly how it's going. I mean, I, I said we were we I said we would be hungover from our Sunday night celebrations, right? and I'm seeing Lotaro Martinez score against Fiorentina in the Coppa Italia. This is kind of Scaring me a little bit. I'm just gonna stay calm, bring on the second half. Mm -mm -mm. I'm guessing this is what people from Brighton eat literally every single day. That is full time. Nothing truly spectacular happened. Erling Holland scored a goal. I had a nice reaction to it. But then, my stream shut off. I had to go find another stream. By the time I found the other stream, the goal was disallowed soft uh, way to uh, take off a goal but it's neither here nor there any Brighton fans watching this congratulations on making Europa League you didn't just qualify for the conference league you qualified for the Europa League huge hu good luck to Brighton I hope y'all win the competition hopefully that Stones injury isn't too bad that would literally just destroy everything I actually want to thank Brighton so much this is a huge wake-up call to Manchester City if we play like this not even against Inter Milan. If we play like this against Manchester United, we're going to lose the FA Cup final. We're not winning any more trophies for the rest of the season. Let's prepare for Brentford away. Okay, let's stay healthy. Keep focused. No more, no parting. None of that shit. You got Brentford away and you got the FA Cup final. Thank you all so much for watching.